What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another brand new video of Depths of History. Today, I've actually made it down to a bridge over here actually near my house. I've never actually tried this bridge, but I know someone who has. My buddy Jeremy, exploring with Nug, actually came over here about a week ago, and they were able to find five guns while they were actually under the specific bridge behind me. Now, I've never personally dove this spot, and I know there's some areas actually over here that they haven't dove either, and I've actually got to swim all the way across the river today to that other side because that's the section that Jeremy told me would be good for us to search. So we're gonna get in the water, see what we can find. If you're enjoying these scuba diving videos, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe and also press that bell notification so that you can get updated on every single video that I post. But with that said, let's get in the water. Hopefully we'll find some really cool stuff. It's gonna be a great day. So with me today, I have Exploring with Nug, also known as Jeremy. Man, what, it, it's been a little bit it's been about two weeks. We've been in Memphis, Nebraska. No, you, you ditched me for <laughs> for the Memphis canal hunt while I was left here to scrounge by myself. Listen, I invited you, man, but hey, you found some really cool stuff while I was gone, and tell the viewers what you actually found here at this specific spot. Well, I got my mojo back. Uh, you weren't here to steal all my mojo, so I ended up finding two guns, and Adam Brown found three. Wow. And I don't even think we scratched the surface of this place yet. That's amazing, man. It's going to be a great day. We're gonna find some really cool stuff and right now he's getting his wetsuit ready. We're gonna get in the water Hopefully find some really cool stuff. This is this is kind of ridiculous Oh my gosh Wow, oh my gosh the force of this water is just crazy. I can stand up right here And kind of try to make my way through but it is pretty hard So uh, I don't want to get this all tangled. Let's make our way over that way and then we're going to go under the water.
You guys so it's funny because I just got out of the water did not find too much today I got a drone which was super cool and uh, that was like my favorite find of the day I always find you know cameras cell phones things like that finding a drone was really cool I'm actually gonna get the SD card out and review the footage but I thought today you know it's gonna be a normal dive us just cleaning up trash out of the river and picking up stuff but Jeremy huh he did it again you guys Literally, I came right back to the car, and on the way out. Oh yeah, last find of the day. Like <laughs> heading to the shore, thought it was gonna be a bust, went right over it. Dude. Right over it. Let's take a look. Man. <laughs> you guys are gonna get ready for this thing. Dude, what's funny is that- Oh I mean, my gosh. Dude, all this stuff, I mean, it's it's all surface rust. It's coming off. This gun. That can... is, that's like very, very, fairly recent. Don't yeah, you, it's, you say? It's maybe a couple years. That is crazy, man. That is a really good find. Awesome. So I think we got ourselves here a Ruger 9mm. There is no clip in it, but I don't know if there's one in the chamber. So we're going to treat this as a live weapon. We're not going to point it at anybody. Keep it at the ground. We are content creators and sometimes our excitement gets the best of us so we like to uh, forget where the barrel's being aimed but we're working on that we're working on that but right now we're doing good so far so uh let's get the cops a call get them down here and retrieve this and get it out of our hands so we don't hurt ourselves okay hi how you doing uh my name is jeremy i was out i'm see here i'm at um uh i was out in the river goofing off and i came across a, a handgun and it's got some serial numbers on it. I wanted to turn it over to the cop. Yep. Yep. All right. So police just got off the phone. And Jeremy, what do you think about that call? Cobb County. Yeah. They're doing good. They I do. Like, they do a they great do really job. Good. I, I like Cobb County yep. a lot. We're doing good with Cobb County. I've had no problems with them. Uh, Let's we'll see what the Rangers think. <laughs> I don't think they're going to. You show think they're going to come? No, no. I don't think she's going to come around. <laughs> I think she learned her lesson. Maybe. Oh well. How you doing? Hey, How's it going, sir? What's going on? Oh, we go. Just dive in the river, Driving, see what we can. Oh, y'all were diving? <laughs> yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, sir. All right, cool. Oh, we got on the back okay. of the tailgate. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's take a look. Thank you so much. The tailgate ish. Yeah, it was right there. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Is that a 9 millimeter? What's up? Oh. Yeah, it was good. Huh? What else do you see out there? Do you see a lot of fish? Oh, like, yeah, it's pretty gunked up. I think it's been in there a while. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, it's probably stolen. Stolen? Yeah. Probably. probably most likely. It wouldn't be the first time we found a stolen gun down in the hooch. Oh, yeah. We found plenty. Between me and Jeremy, probably about 80 or 90 guns turn into the police. Question is, do you think you guys could get like ballistics and stuff off of that, or is that too far gone? I don't know. 
honest answer, that's beyond my scope. Beyond your scope? Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. They, they'll probably be able to clean it up and all that stuff. Y'all still, uh, or you still live at that location? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, we was out here, I think, what was it, a few days ago? Maybe Monday. Last Monday, we found five guns. Yeah, I was, uh, I was here that day, because I remember the call coming in about <laughs> someone finding a bunch of guns. Yeah. So, that yeah. was a good day we had five guns. It was four handguns and one rifle. Wow. So yeah, it like, was pretty wow. crazy. The rifle was neat because somebody like, it was one, I think it was SKS, had like one of them foldable butt, uh, um, stocks. Ah, but okay. somebody broke it off and like filled yeah. it up with glue or something. I don't know what they was doing with it, but they didn't like the stock, they busted it off. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, my guess is probably three out of those five were probably stolen. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. The ones I found, like, oh, they were old. They didn't even look, they looked like a gun, but they were like, they've been down there years. <laughs> yeah, it's like most of the time, you know, if you find one like thrown over a bridge, it's got to yeah. most yeah, of the time involved in the crime. Or, yeah. <laughs> See the stolen or involved in a crime, right? Yeah. Especially if you're finding the river. Oh, At definitely. least that—that's my experience. I've been doing this ten years. So oh wow! Yeah, definitely. Definitely. This is my suspicion. Stolen? Yeah. Wow. There you go. Stolen out of Atlanta. Stolen out of Atlanta. Okay. They, so, when someone reports a gun stolen, there's a report that's done on it, and that agency does a report. So, if I were to reach out to Atlanta and get that case number, I can find out how it was stolen. Wow, but, that's really cool. Yeah. So that steel, I wonder if they do anything with it for the picture. <laughs> More than likely, but I mean, that that's, we won't know anything until ballistics and things like that. Okay. Even if this gun, if it's able to shoot, you know, they'll be yeah. able to, to do all that. But. I mean, that's probably, we found so many guns, never heard back. <laughs> yeah. Like, we never like, yeah, we probably couldn't figure it out. <laughs> it's, it's definitely stolen. But, like I said, most of the time you find them in the river, they're, they're usually stolen or yeah. involved in some sort of crime. So. I've only found, I think, one or two that it was legit somebody dropped it. Like, yeah, that's, out of a kayak. That's rare. Yeah, but, I found one in Roswell. And like, yeah. the cops were like, oh yeah, he, he dropped to get into his kayak right here. Oh. And, I, and they, it was only like six feet deep, but Man, that's, it was endless. As, as a gun owner, that that's the most disheartening thing. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. That's the truth, man. No, they're both saying off other boats for the guns. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for being so helpful with us really we really appreciate it thank you so basically right now are you just trying to find like numbers or well i'm looking for the actual caliber of the gun oh cool gotcha so we were that, thinking it was a nine mil but it wasn't really 100 well, percent positive the one that's reported is is stolen is nine millimeter oh yeah but due to all the rust i can't really it, you know i can't really see the caliber yeah i can see the serial number because it's on the handle but definitely I'm surprised it wasn't scratched out. Serial number. Well, nah. <laughs> you can't really stretch it out or scratch it out too much on the handle. Yeah. All right, guys. So as you can see, it's cleared off a lot of the rust, and you can see on the top uh, it actually says nine mil on the top. So we're gonna let him take over the rest of it, whatever he needs to do. Now that they they know it's a nine millimeter, right? right so now what we do. They say, hey, this gun was turned into us. We're showing that it's stolen. Can y'all confirm that it's actually still stolen? So definitely, they got the, our department will call Atlanta and they'll either confirm or deny, which they'll probably confirm to um, it. that it's stolen. Well, we really appreciate you, Sergeant. Yeah. Uh, how do you spell? Uh, say your name? Jake. 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 Yes. Thank you so much. Not appreciate a problem you. at all. Appreciate you guys. Uh, Doing what you do and yes, finding stuff for us. Yeah. Yes, sir. You'll hear from us again. Yeah. yeah, hey, listen, <laughs> find some more. Without y'all, I mean, the gun would have never been found. Yes, right? definitely. Unless, unless our dive team was doing some training or something like that. That's the truth. We, we'd probably never find it. Most definitely. So. Yeah, that's why we're around. We we go to all the bridges around Georgia, and anytime we find a gun, firearm, anything of yeah. you know, significance, we always call the police. So. And, and if no law enforcement has ever told y'all, we appreciate that because there's yes. no telling in how many crimes y'all have helped solve. 
Thank you. Put the, the missing piece to the puzzle mm -hmm. in play. Yes, sir. So, I'll shake your hand on that, man. I, I well, really it's, appreciate it. It's that. dirty, so, but you know. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so the officer just pulled up to us again and wanted to tell us some news about that firearm that we actually found. And uh, what was the news about that, sir? So, in looking, because it was stolen out of Atlanta, and looking at the actual um, the stolen hit alert, yes. it shows that this gun was stolen in 2012. 2012. Yes. Man. So either it's been stolen for a while, could have been used in a nu numerous amount of crimes, Jeremy. Oh yeah, well, it doesn't necessarily or, mean it's been in the river nine years. You know, you know, it but could like, have been okay. involved in different crimes and then maybe tossed in a little yeah. earlier. I'm actually gonna put a link down in the description below to Cobb County Police Department. Um, their Facebook page, because they actually have a Facebook page. I would love it if you guys would spread some good words on there from the video that you guys actually saw today. Specifically for the officer, that came out today. I don't want to mispronounce his name. I forgot it. Also check out Jeremy's channel as he just hit 40,000 subscribers and is making content gradually every single week. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. congratulations on the awesome find, Jeremy. If you enjoyed the video, head over to his channel and see when he found this gun. But until then, we'll see you guys on the next one.